Y'all, I got I had to get on here today and share some stuff with y'all. I know I've been in my yay. And you know what? At this point, I'm not going to even make any excuses. Uh, that's all me. And just what I'm, you know, dealing with on my end. Um, but um, don't think that I don't think of you guys. Don't think that I don't love you guys. Don't think that I don't um, still want what's best for you you all if even if you don't see me all the time but I had to get on here today <laughs> I had to get on here today um I posted something earlier and it was about when you are walking in your purpose you really don't got time to be worried about distractions you don't have time to be worried about other things that come in your life to distract you and um, I say that because, let me tell y'all something. If you don't know who you are, and if you ain't walking in the confidence and the assurity of who you are as a king, as a queen, better believe the enemy is going to try to come and trip you up. And I notice it, it's always around the time that you want to do something or it's always around when you're trying to walk in your purpose it's always around when you're trying to um operate in your ministry it's almost like i want to say it's like a twofold thing you know it's one to trip you up but then also is to to see you know what i'm saying are you gonna continue to walk in your ministry and operate in your calling or are you going to allow the enemy to turn your neck like that? <laughs> Are you going to allow the enemy to turn your head to the side? You know what I'm saying? Y'all, we have a goal to accomplish. We are not on here to waste our time. We're not on in this life to uh, take up space and to waste space and to just live, breathe, repopulate, and die. There is a bigger purpose than just the everyday routine that we have in life. There is a call. There is a task. There is an assignment that needs to be done here. And let me tell y'all something. If you are not focused, if you are not on your A game, if you are not um, diligent in seeking the path, that the creator, your creator has laid out for you, you're gonna get distracted. Let me tell you, the enemy's job is to use whatever, whoever, whenever and however to throw you off of your blessing, to throw you off of receiving the inheritance that God has for you. That's the enemy's job. Y'all, he already lost his blessing. He's already lost his place of glory, his place of honor. He's already lost his inheritance and his utmost passion, let me say, is to steal yours and to prevent you from obtaining everything, all the good and wonderful things that God has for your life. And y'all, we too busy out here allowing the enemy to freaking steal our blessings you know we say we want to be blessed we say we want um to be great we say we want to be successful we say we want a good husband we say we want a good wife but let me tell you something when it all comes down to it you're gonna be tested in that the Lord is going to really find out if you're serious about what you say you want. And he's going to allow the enemy. Let me tell you, the, the enemy can only do what the Lord allows. So if he's wreaking havoc in your life, if he's causing distractions, if he's trying to steal your blessing, if he's um, trying to lead you astray, it's only because the, the Lord is actually allowing it. And he's allowing it to see whether we will submit to him resist the devil or he's allowing it to make us stronger he's allowing it to build our spiritual strength our mental emotional and physical strength he allows those things 
great men and women are not built through comfort. Great women, great women and men are not built through what's easy. Kings and queens are not built off of mediocrity. They are built off of endurance, perseverance, diligence, determination, all those things that you can think about. That's what kings and queens are built on. And it is the enemy's job to distract you and to steal, steal your inheritance and to keep you weak, to keep you immature, to keep you stunted, to keep you in mediocrity, to keep you at subpar. That's the enemy's goal because he's already operating in that. He's already, he's already at rock bottom. And if he can keep you at rock bottom, by golly gosh, that's what he's going to do. Excuse my, my mama's country, okay? I had to hit you with the golly gosh. And y'all, if we don't have eyes to see, ears to hear, and a heart to perceive, y'all, we gonna get tripped up in this game. We gonna get tripped up in this game. And let me tell you something. I ain't perfect. I ain't perfect. I still have a long way to go. But... The more I come into an understanding of who I am, the more I'm not going to tolerate nonsense in my life. I will love you and love you and wish you well. God bless you. May the Lord, may the Lord see you through. But the enemy not going to come and steal my blessing. See, I've made up in my mind, I don't want my blessing stolen. I want everything that the devil wants to take from me. I want all my inheritance. I want every last bit of my inheritance because that's what God desires for me and that's what I, I'm, I'm, I'm deserving of and if we don't recognize it then he's going to give us leftovers we're going to get the leftovers we're going to get the bottom of the barrel queens the main distraction in our lives is going to be relationships and men that is the main distraction because the way women are operating nowadays in a, is in a spirit of desperation. And as long as we are desperate, we will not get great. Desperate does not guarantee greatness. It never has and it never will. I know you want a husband. I know you want a marriage. I know you want a relationship. I know you want to be loved. But you have to love yourself enough first in order to attract someone else to love you as Christ loved the church. You have to love yourself enough. And when we tolerate foolery and nonsense and shenanigans, then we will never get the fullness of what God has for us. We will always get subpar. We will always get less than. We will always settle for less than the best. Child, we won't even get the good. We won't even get the good. Men, if you continue to allow... Your distraction, your greatest hindrance is going to be women. But you're also your greatest hindrance is going to be your ego. The word of God says God resists the proud and he lifts up the humble. Your ego is going to cost you success, status... All those things that you try to fight for and compete for and manipulate and finagle your way to get, your ego is going to cost you to have less than God's best for you. When you get a good, you say you want a good woman, you say you want a good wife, and then when a woman comes into your life that checks you, checks your nonsense, then you're ready to kick her to the curb. You're ready to, to throw her in the trash because you don't want none of that. Who she thinks she is. No, what happens is these women out here have been spoiling you. These women who don't know themselves, who don't know their worth, who don't know they are, they've been spoiling you behind and you're spoiled rotten. And so you think every woman needs to bow to your whim when a true leader is one who serves. A leader is not one who lords. Jesus said the greatest among you shall be what? The servant. And y'all out here 
in your ego and can't stand to be corrected by a queen. When she comes and say, look, how you approached me, it wasn't correct. But look, it's nothing but love, no hate, you still a king, carry on. You ready to throw her away. You ready to kick her to the curb. You ready to remove her out your life. Honey, you missing out, not her. You're missing out. Because the greatest thing God ever made for a man was a help me. And don't think of a help me as always she gotta be your woman who laying under your, under your body. A help me is any woman, any woman, your sister, your mother, your aunt, a friend, a co-worker, a woman on the street, a stranger, any woman who is mature enough to want you to be great to check you. And check you respectfully, of course. That is a help me. Y'all, we, we gonna miss out. If we don't get right, we gonna miss out. If we don't get right, we gonna miss out. I'm not gonna miss out. I'm not gonna miss out. So I just suggest get right so you don't miss out. Be blessed on day. Love you. Bye.